by the U.S. Special Forces in northwestern Syria, targeting Abu Ibrahim al-Hashimi al-Kawashi, the leader of ISIS who blew himself up, killing him, but also his family members during a counterterrorism operation Thursday. The U.S. still has about 2,500, I think, you know, troops in Iraq at this point. So there, there is a presence there. And also the U.S. has great mobility. You know, if, if there's a, a high-value target, they can move in quickly. Dr. Andrew Holt, professor of history at Florida State College at Jacksonville, says the execution of al Qarashi is significant because he was tasked with rebuilding a caliphate. You know, over the last two years, there hasn't been that much coverage of ISIS. They've been, um, you know, there a lot of their... Uh, Forces have been destroyed, their land holdings have been destroyed. And uh, but this doesn't mean that they don't have an incredible sort of name brand in the terrorist world community. Dr. Holt believes there are elements that still exist that will want to succeed al Qarashi. The U.S. And, and Iraqi forces and certainly Kurdish and, and other troops are, are, are whittling away at ISIS as much as they can in an effort to really suppress them sort of once and for all. But we'll, we'll see if that happens. In Jacksonville, Brianna Ray Turner, First Coast News on your side.